Hello everyone, welcome to William in the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Henry. Henry is from Johannesburg in South Africa. So let's see what Henry has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hello. Hello, Henry. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you, William? I'm very well. My God, we made it. We've been trying. We for did. Life. And we did it now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> eventually. It was a little bit of a struggle, but here we are. Thanks so much for taking the time this evening for the interview. Thank you. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having it with me. So tell me, how was your day today? My day? Um, it was okay. A little bit busy. Had a lot of like admin type things to sort out, plan for the week ahead and the shoots that's coming up. Um, had a nice gym session, made some nice dinner. And I started getting ready for bed, actually, because it's like, yeah, quite late in South Africa now. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so I'm not going to take too much of your time so you can go to bed and have a nice sleep. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you too. Shame, you've been having lots of interviews. Hey, just come out of one. Amazing. So tell me, um, so you mentioned that you're from South Africa. Where's about? I live in Johannesburg, uh, which is in Gauteng, Gauteng province. Um, and inside of Johannesburg, uh, is basically exactly in the middle in um, Legauri. I see. That's mm. the place where you were born and raised? No, I come from the Northwest, uh, which is a little bit more of a smaller um, Afrikaans community at uh, Hartisburg. So it's like right next to a nice dam and then Machalisburg. Um, yeah, very pretty, but very small. <laughs> and then eventually I moved from there to Pretoria, where I did my studies, and then I started working in Joburg. Amazing. I like Joburg. I have so many, many guests on the show from Johannesburg, and the way mm. they say it's just amazing, Joburg. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you like us. <laughs> what And uh, what do you do for work, for living? I am an actor. Mm -hmm. I'm in a telenovela on a program called CakeNet. Um, and then I am also a production coordinator, production manager on some series and reality shows and wow. movies and so on. Yeah. Amazing. So you are in the film industry? Yes. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you like the most about uh, your career? Um, well, I really like uh, how um, intense it can become and how fast paced and you're always working on something new and creative and working with new stories and new people uh, you never know what the day is going to hold for you because there's always a different challenge that you need to try and um, you know, resolve and um, yeah it can you never know what's going to happen it's really cool <laughs> amazing the people are also amazing yeah am i saying your name right henry hmm? am i saying your name right henry yes, yes. it's henry yeah. Okay, Henry, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and share your point of views? Yes, I am. Amazing. <laughs> Welcome to William and the Magic Box. So I've got here my best friend. Okay, full of wonderful questions. I'm just going to play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question, okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's fine. Let, let's do it. <laughs> hey, Henry, before we start the game, during the join, if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about, some reason you don't want to answer, always can change, okay? Okay. Okay. First question for you is, where do you want to be in 10 years' time from now? I would really like to work on a really big movie set. Um if possible, overseas and not in South Africa anymore. Uh, but yes, um, something big, something memorable, something that the world can see. It's being an actor in South Africa, in Johannesburg, um, it's easy or there are a lot of opportunities. Um, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, there's not a lot of opportunities. Um, as South Africans, we kind of have to create our work ourselves because um, there's not a lot of support from the government and so on that you I uh, tend to have overseas, or so I understand it to be. Um, but yeah, so we try to create work for ourselves, but there's always something happening, a new small project here or there. Uh, the chances of having big blockbusters and stuff coming to South Africa, those opportunities happen like once a year. 
you know, so not a lot. I see. And the film industry, uh, Johannesburg, um, it's, uh, let's say, the, the right place to be in South Africa or maybe Cape Town or it can, it can go with different areas? Uh, for my industry specifically, I would say Joburg is a really good choice. Um, it's a very fast-paced community that we have here and everyone works extremely hard um, in Cape Town as well. But yeah, the kind of sector splits and um, we tend to have more advertisings here and we have all of the series and stuff happening on this side as well. Um, so it's just a little bit busier. There is beautiful theatre and so on that happens in Cape Town more often though, um, which is also lovely. Amazing. Next question. Let's do it. Hey, Henry from Johannesburg. Next question is, what are you most passionate about? Passionate about um, probably people. I um, really enjoy uh, spending time with new people, meeting new people, spending time with my friends and um, really valuing those friendships and how we can um, yeah, help each other tell our stories and so on. It's just a beautiful process of how people can influence each other. Yeah. When you analyze yourself, Henry, when you think about yourself, what's the best part of being you? Best part of being me? I think my authenticity. Um, I think everyone has their own version of their authenticity, obviously, but I like mine. I think it fits me well. And um, yeah, and I've been carrying this kind of uh, realism of myself uh, through my whole life. And I really love that about me. Amazing. Next question. Let's do it. Before the next question, tell me, um, I'm going to ask a question in two parts. Uh, the first part is, uh, tell me when was the moment that you said, okay, I was born to be an actor. I was born to, uh, to be involved in the film industry. Um, and the second part of the question is, did you always have the support of your family regarding your career? Uh, sorry, what's the second part? Did you always have the support of your family uh, regarding your career? Uh, so I actually went to university starting off with uh, BSc, where I studied human uh, genetics and physiology. And that then, uh, when I went into my first year at university, I went to watch a show called Equus. And when I saw it, I was like, yeah, in awe. And I just loved everything that I saw. And it just really stuck with me for a very long time. And I was like, well, I really want to do that for the rest of my life. So I went to my parents. I was like, I want to change my degree. I want to go study drama. Um, and they weren't too keen on the idea. So they eventually said no. Um, but I just kept going and kept going. And then at the end of the year, I changed my studies without telling them. And then I started doing drama. And then eventually, uh, when my dad had to pay that paycheck, um, he was like, but wait a minute, what's happening here? And then it was like so deeply in and they saw how happy I was and everything. So it kind of just continued from there. Um, but yeah, that play kind of stuck with me through my whole studies. And at the end, in my final year, I got to play the lead in Equus, um, which was like full circle. So yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> Easy. Good fun. Next question is, if you could ask for a miracle, what that would be? Yo. I, mean, I don't know, probably something also career driven. Um, so if someone fancy like a Tim Burton or someone just sees me and then like, oh, I really want to do a film. <laughs> you should be in it. We're like, OK. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it can yeah, happen. Time, it's fine. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I think those opportunities in life, you know, come the right time. I think we should always be, you know, keep going, doing your job, showing your, you know, your your talent. And, uh, you know, it can be just around the corner, you know, can be you just, you just need to keep going because you never know when it can just appear out of nowhere. Exactly. That's how I see it. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Ready for another one? Yes. Let's I do it. Bring it on. <laughs> hey, Henry, next question is How would you describe a perfect, healthy relationship? Perfect, healthy relationship? Definitely a lot of communication. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we 
want to not say something because we're afraid that it might hurt the person and then we keep those kind of thoughts and feelings to ourselves but eventually they do come out in a different way and not the way that you could have wanted it or could have prevented if you just started talking about it prior um and even if some conversations are uncomfortable uh you have them you work it out and then eventually uh you kind of find a common ground and everything's better for it i've never had a um, communication where the two parties were not better off afterwards yeah it's easy to maintain a relationship in johannesburg in your opinion or it can be tricky to have relationships in johannesburg yeah um well well we're in the gay community and um so relationships are very fast paced as well and they don't necessarily last very long and it's also not that big uh it is kind of a big city but it's not that big so we all know each other and everyone has dated each other and everyone's friends with each other and everyone's enemies of each other so it can become a little bit tricky after a while <laughs> navigating it's like okay wait this taximetry is getting quite excessive now <laughs> i see Okay, I think that uh, you know when you uh, some cities like you know um, it, it, I, I totally understand your point because you know uh, people um, they can you know see some same as I said same face around people they connect somehow there's always you know you get to know people in the circle become let's say just one you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah. yeah which is nice in its own way but. So um, yeah, if you're going to start dating this person, then there's a few others who's going to be like, oh, yes, I remember when I dated him, it was like this and this and this, and I hope your experience will be different anyway. Okay. <laughs> right, I have three questions left. Let's do it. Hey, Henry, next question is, what has been the happiest point of your life? Happiest point of my life? Um... Well, probably this year, um, I went to, because I've been trying to get my career started for the past like five, six years, and I've got some cool productions and I did some um, really nice things over the past few years. But um, this year, everything kind of happened in this one month where I got um, like this really big reality show that we were shooting in uh, Swalandam, which was really amazing. And then... There was a reboot of a, a program that I used to grow up with and we redid it. And it was so like nostalgic to be able to be working on it. And then I also got casted in the TV series. And then I was like, ah, everything like kind of come together so quickly. And yeah, that's what I can think of for now. There's other beautiful moments, but this one, I'm still riding that way. <laughs> Please, and I can see you smiling, feeling the, the passion. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Two questions left. Let's do it. Sure. Before the next question, um, I would like to ask you, um, okay, let's do a little game. Let's pretend that you have the biggest budget in the whole world and you can um, do a production that you can pay anyone. Yeah. Let's say you can pay anyone. Let's say you're going to put together like uh, a scene in a theater or in a movie that you can choose anyone in the world to play your mom you can choose anyone to play your dad yeah okay. um another person to play your romantic partner and you can pay any director in the world to work behind to get everything together the big boss who yes. those people be and why um okay the director will definitely be tom burton um i'm obsessed with everything that he makes and i've been watching all of his films on repeat since I can remember. Um, I just love his vision and the quirky, kind of spooky, but childish approach that he takes to things. Um, yes, so 100% I will take it. Um, person to play my love interest. Um, it has always been Johnny Depp, but I think that also comes from a Tim Burton like era. But um, he, yeah, I don't know. After the whole scandal on that side, I guess I'm gonna go for something more plain, like a, uh, like a Channing Tatum, just because he's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I met him so, once. Yeah. I met him once in person, actually. You did. I did. And that was pretty in person as well. 
He is very pretty. Yeah, I used to work <laughs> in a hotel uh, a few years ago, and he he came for a production or something. And I literally was walking like through the you know the corridor of the hotel, and he yeah. just was like standing by the door of his bedroom. I was like, can I come in? Can I think can I come? In? I just I don't know. He was just this beautiful man. Yes, yeah. Wow, I think yeah. I would have fainted. <laughs> yeah, then you can just I don't know if I will conversation or not but he can just like sit on my couch and I can look at him that will be fine <laughs> and then um for my father I think I will I want to say RuPaul <laughs> okay okay yeah it's not right or wrong yeah, you're a cool <laughs> father figure <laughs> yeah absolutely oh he can technically play my mother as well so that would be great it's going to be both I love that I love that <laughs> I really like him amazing I just think he's extremely wise and um everything he says is just like oh, wow you can just keep listening to him and then he's always has this like bright airy kind of energy around him in these interviews and everything and I just think it's such a party to like hang out with him you can just sit and have it and I think it'll be the best night of your life yeah <laughs> amazing I love it <laughs> next question is what is the best gift ever received and why you consider that best gifts I've ever received. Um, as, I don't know if it's completely like a gift gift, but um, there was a thing that happened in our family and that I kind of had to be raised by my grandmother. And mm -hmm. at first I was like, I don't know, um, kind of sad by it. And it feels like very alternative for me to not be completely in my family dynamic and everything but I think that in itself was kind of the big gift that I got in my life because wow. everything like changed from there and I became like a whole different person and um and I just had so much love in my life and care and everything and everything just got much better so I think I'm gonna go with the gift of having my grandmother raise me yeah <laughs> I love your answer Henry oh my god what a beautiful answer and I think grandparents they just know, you know what I mean? It's uh, something about our grandparents that uh, is different of our parents, isn't it? It's somehow, it's a connection, it's a beautiful, unique connection that we have with them that um, it's it's a gift. Wow, yes, beautiful. Exactly, beautiful. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Question, let's do it. Yay. Before the last question, you know, let's say someone come up to you and say, Henry, from now on, you just can work on TV, on making movies, like in, in the movies or um, in the theater. Which one would you choose? Forever, just one career. But I'm definitely getting it though. So um, if the one I choose, I get to do for the rest of my life. Okay. Um, I want to say theater, actually. It's where wow. it all started. And I did do theater for three years and I was a professional dancer and everything. And then with COVID, I stopped and then moved over to the film industry because that's where the money kind of kept simmering. So I would say theater. Yes. Amazing. Good. Last question is, how do you make friends? Um, I, I make friends everywhere. I kind of just walk up like... If we sit in a lift and there's people in the lift, I'll probably start chatting with everyone um, or whoever is there next to me are willing to listen. Um, like, I don't know. So everywhere I go, I kind of just start talking to people. Now, if I sit next to someone or in a queue somewhere or at a bar or a place, then I'll just start talking. <laughs> What's your star sign of astrology? I am a Pisces. Pisces. March? Yes. Yes, I'm born on the 18th of March. Okay. It's yeah. not the end yet. Let's play now the word association game, okay? I'm going to give away some words. Just tell one word that comes to your mind. Big thinking, okay? Okay. One word for money. Uh, luxury. Family. Warmth. Fear. Darkness. Life. Uh, nature. Love. Uh, my cat. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Sex. Sex. Um, uh, last. Okay. Religion. 
uh, questions? Politics. Uh, hate. Friendship. Laughing. <laughs> Desire. Mm. Desire. Oh, also warm. Okay. Regrets. Uh, fear. Success. Fame. Wish. Um, future. Happiness. Now. One word for Johannesburg. Uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> One word for South Africa. Colorful. One word for Nelson Mandela. Legend. One word for theater. The beauty. And the last one now, acting. One word. Acting. Inspiration. Let's pretend now we're going to meet your best friend for a coffee and I'm going to ask your best friend. Define Henry in one positive word and one negative word only. What your best friend would say. Uh, positive, hardworking, negative, um, emotional. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Let's play now Henry and the magic box and you can ask me a question. Okay, but before you ask me the question, what is your favorite Afrikaans word? Afrikaans word? Oh. Yeah, your favorite. Uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite Afrikaans word would be uh, pantoffles. Which means? <laughs> it's slippers, like sleepy slippers. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> you can ask me a question now. Um, what is your favorite theater piece? Wow, good question, good question. Okay, I've seen so many uh, different ones, but I'm going to uh, share um, one of the latest ones that I've seen it, and actually I've seen three times. <laughs> three times. The first one, I, the first time I saw it was by coincidence um, in New York City, in Broadway, like out of nowhere. And I, when I came back to London, I saw the advertisement as well, and I went to see because I want to see the same thing. And the last time I went to see was a coincidence. A friend of mine bought by mistake twice the same ticket. And I went with actually with a, a South African friend. We went together to see um, uh, this play. It's called The Play That Goes Wrong. Yeah. It's oh, a comedy. Yes. It's a comedy. And it's just, I thought three times. And those three times I watched it, I was literally on the floor, like literally like laughing because it's so funny. It's so interacting as well mm -hmm. and um, it made me laugh from the beginning to the end the three times i went to see it to watch it yeah. so the play that goes wrong i loved it that is a good choice i really like the show as well yeah it's, it's really good yeah good choice <laughs> did you enjoy the interview henry yes i did thank you shame you're very sweet it was really nice to meet you thanks for all the thank questions you. thank and you so for much sharing some of the stories and stuff <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for being so sweet as well and uh, uh, accept my invitation. But before you go, if you can share a positive message or anything that you live by. Um, as a quote by uh, Marilyn Monroe, and she said, um, I don't want to make a lot of money. I just want to be wonderful. Wow, amazing. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Um, and you keep in touch. It was a pleasure having you on the show, okay? Thank Take you. Care. Thank you so much. Good William. night. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I see you there. Bye bye. See you next time.